Hello. So, apparently, I am not going to be able to go to work for a little while longer as it stands. And don't pay attention to the neck brace. It's kind of on for dramatic effects. No, I'm just joking. Um, as I'm working on the computer or on my phone, I need the neck brace on because... Uh, it holds my head in position because without the support, um, I strain the muscles that apparently I pulled during the accident and it causes migraines. So, um, I can't hold my head up for too long, uh, without, um, support. So that's what the brace is for. Nothing dramatic. So don't worry. But, um, apparently I'm not going to be able to go to work in a while all because of some other individual who chose not to pay attention and caused me to be in this position and at first today uh, when it finally hit me that this happened like he he caused this I was really annoyed and the reason why I was annoyed is because I haven't been able to go to work in a while and of course you don't work you don't get paid right and so the it doesn't matter if I work or not the bills are coming in and I'm gonna tell you this this is so funny to me because I don't consider myself homeless okay I choose not to live in a home but at the same time I'm homeless when it benefits me like as long as everything is going fine I'm an entrepreneur I am making moves and my 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 living arrangements fit me but the minute my account goes in a negative consistently <laughs> because the bank chooses to pay all the people that I owe then all of a sudden I'm homeless like how you gonna take something from somebody who ain't got nothing <laughs> but uh yeah that's it is whatever so yeah I'm in this situation but my question to you is what would you do if you woke up one morning and someone told you you didn't have your job. You didn't have your car. You didn't have your finances in the bank. Okay? Your name has been scandalized. And actually, you don't even have your freedom. What if you? What would you do if you woke up one morning and realized you lost everything? Not by your will. Because of someone else's faults. You lost everything. What would you do? You probably stop smiling. <laughs> you probably stop smiling. But I wanted to say this. In any situation, any circumstance that happened in your life, if you think about it, what would you do in that situation? Would you would you give up? Would you throw in a towel? Would you ask God why me? And I, 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 I thought about it because the funny thing about it, even though this happened to me, this happened to me. That was a horrible, a horrible accident. It was a horrible accident. And I survived. So as far as I'm concerned, I survived because the accident happened yeah, the guy wasn't paying attention. But I don't believe anything can happen to me without God's permission. Okay? And not just me, to anybody. I don't believe anything I have gone through in my life has happened to me without God's permission. 
So if that happened to me and the fact that I survived it, the fact that I'm still living to talk about it tells me that that happened because God needed my attention for something. Maybe, maybe I had started focusing too much on trying to go to work and put these hours in so I could make a few more dollars. And I wasn't working on the business. I wasn't working on my purpose. And he said, no, that's, no, that's, that's not what you're there for. You're not there to do somebody else's uh, uh, work and not do the job that I assigned to you. You see what I'm saying? So that's how I took that accident. That's how I take it. And since then, I've been able to to focus more on the things that I was supposed to be doing. But what would you do if you woke up one morning and lost everything? I've been in positions where I have lost everything. And when I tell you everything, I mean including my freedom. And yes, when I say including my freedom, I mean exactly what it is, including my freedom. I have lost my good name. But you know, I always say, when you have lost everything, when you have lost everything to include your good name, you can always make up another name and live that best life, right? So how would you react to losing everything? And I I, I promise you, I have one good way that you can overcome a circumstance waking up to absolutely nothing you can wake up to absolutely nothing and still live your best life and the way you can do that is to change your mindset focus on the positive don't throw a pity party about why things have happened to you why why not if something has happened to you it's because one God needed your attention for something? And two, maybe you were going in the wrong direction. Have you ever uh, remember either when you were a child walking across the street and your parents have your hand and you start walking aimlessly somewhere else and they snatch you back? You were going in the wrong direction and they needed you to pay attention and go where they were leading you to go. And And that's all. That's all it is. That's all it is. It is a circumstance that happened to you that maybe you need to be paying attention to. Pay attention. Don't ask why me. Think about it. What did I ask from God to put me in this position? And and I laugh about it because I remember one of my mantras is that I am ready to receive any and all things that God has for for me. I'm ready to